Welcome to IAS project. In this video, we will be talking about FATF, that is Financial Action Task Force. FATF is also known in French as GAFI. FATF is an intergovernmental organization which was established at the initiative of G7 during 1989 G7 Paris summit. So, G7 played a major role in establishment of FATF. FATF headquarters is located in Paris. FATF mandate was initially anti-money laundering. However, after 9-11 attacks in New York, countering of financing of terrorism as well as to counter financing of proliferation of world weapons of mass dis destruction were included. So right now, FATF's mandate is threefold. The first is anti-money laundering. The second is countering financing of terrorism and the third is countering financing of proliferation of WMDs. FATF also deals with other related threats to integrity of international financial systems. FATF's work is mainly as a policy making body. Therefore, through its policy making initiatives, it encourages world governments to legislate on matters of AML and CFT that is anti-money laundering and countering of financing of terrorism. FATF monitors policies of countries through a peer review mechanism called as mutual evaluations. Let's look at how FATF works. FATF plenary is the FATF's highest decision making body. It meets three times a year. FATF's plenary also appoints FATF president for a term of two years. FATF has two lists mainly. The first is FATF blacklist and the second is FATF grey list. FATF blacklist is also called as list for call of action. FATF grey list is also called as other monitored jurisdictions. As of now, only Iran and North Korea are present in FATF blacklist. However, there are many countries in FATF grey list. Non-compliant countries can be put under NCCT, that is non-cooperative countries or territories list which is also called as FATF blacklist. FATF blacklisted or greylisted countries face problem in mobilizing international resources and services. So therefore, FATF as such does not sanction any country. However, when a country is placed in a blacklist or greylist by FATF, that country will face many problems in raising money from international organizations like IMF or World Bank, ADB or AIIB etc. And also, corporates also face problems in getting external commercial borrowings. So, this is how FATF blacklist or FATF greylist marking of a country affects its economy. So, this is a mot motivation for countries to adopt legislations so that they are in line with FATF policies. FATF has 40 recommendations for anti-money laundering and 9 special recommendations for countering of financing of terrorism. FATF has two official languages, which are English and French. As of 2022, FATF has 37 member jurisdictions, including India. Also, FATF has two regional organizations. They are European Union and Gulf Cooperation Council. So, all members of G20, except for Indonesia, are members of FATF. So, within this 27, 18 members directly come from G20 and EU which is a regional organization under FATF is also present within G20. FATF is closely associated with 9 FATF style regional bodies. The most important from that point of view is Asia Pacific Group on Money Laundering which is also called as APG. It looks after Asia region for FATF. Also we have CFATF and EG and others within these 9 FATF style regional bodies. If we count these 9 FATF style regional bodies also to the 37 member jurisdictions, then FATF network includes more than 180 countries. So FATF need not put a country in blacklist or grey list only among these 37 countries. FATF can put any country in blacklist or grey list, they need not belong to these 37. Countries which are members of FATF associated bodies can also attend FATF meetings as individual member delegates. Indonesia, 
which is not a member of FATF is actually an observer at FATF. Along with Indonesia, we have IMF, ADB, World Bank, ADB stands for Asian Development Bank and United Nations are also observers. Let's read and answer this question. Read the below statements related to FATF and answer which of the statements is not correct. Let's look at the first statement. FATF headquarters is located in Geneva. We know this is wrong because it is located in Paris, France. FATF is a treaty based organization. No, it is not. India is a member of FATF. Yes, India is a member of FATF alongside 36 other countries. So, which of the following is not correct? So, 1 and 2 are not correct. So, this is the right answer. Please like and share the video and also subscribe to IAS project. Thank you.